All right, guys, went back today with a mid-tier LPVO from Sig Sauer, and Sig is really pushing the limits when it comes to high-quality optics at affordable prices, and the Tango MSR 1-6 to LPVO is no different. I want to give a huge shout-out to Optics Planet for sending this over to the channel for us to try out. They're a big supporter of the channel, and I knew I had to throw it on an AR. Now, this one actually is a BDC reticle system, and there's a ton of information in the manual that you pick up inside the box we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later on now the msrp on this guy is 500 dollars, which really puts it in competing with a lot of those mid-tier high value lpvos but the sale price on optics planet's website is 356.49 so about 350 bucks and then i've got a code 704 tac for five percent off dropping the price down even more sub 350 and the mount that you see here is included in the box the fit and finish is spectacular but let's talk about those specs and features and its performance down at the range but before we do i also want to give a huge shout out to callaway ballistics for donating the 223 ammo to help make this video without their support it'd be nearly impossible to continue with the pace that i'm doing because they keep sending out a ton of ammo they just did some price drops and price restructuring so definitely check them out i also have a code for these guys 704 tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over 200 dollars. i do want to show you guys the box so you can pause it and read all of those specs and features so you can get a little bit better detail from there and then this is the reticle selection uh, that I've got this is the BDC 6 reticle system and again you can look at the manual itself but it's got really large leader lines and since this is a second focal plane optic means as you zoom in and out it's actually stays the same size so what you're seeing here is what you'll see the entire zoom level so that BDC bullet drop compensation and leader lines are only effective at the six power setting and not anywhere uh, other than the six power setting first focal plane optics resolve this issue but a lot of times the reticle gets so small and hard to use i really think a one to six second focal plane though is perfect on top of an ar-15 that you're going to be using for cqb close quarter stuff but occasionally want to take shots even out to four five and six hundred yards this has the potential to do that it has a 30 millimeter tube and a matte finish right out of the box i noticed the mount itself was incredibly nice amount of this quality i've seen after reviewing tons of different mounts generally sells for about 80 to 100 dollars i'm not sure if sig sells them independently but the machining lineup fit and finish is absolutely spectacular and it locks up rock solid with these bolts it even has the torque specs on the side and lightning cuts and skeletonized cuts all over this thing it looks and feels awesome i do want to stress this mount because a lot of times when companies throw in mounts they're junk or they're cheap and you have to swap them out this is awesome and i truly think it adds a ton of value the other cool thing is it includes flip up lens covers but these are some of the nicest i've actually seen out of the box they flip completely flat staying out of the way not sticking up or to the side and they secure really nicely they pop up and they're really spring loaded i almost never address the flip up lens covers but i am on this model because i think they've done an amazing job they also include some really nice texturing on the throw lever for the zoom knob as well as an included handle that you can unthread and take off if you don't want to with an added lip as a bonus on here so sig is doing everything right out of the box so you can just grab it and go you don't have to buy any extras you don't have to buy the flip up lens covers the throw lever or the mount because it's all included these have cap turrets but it's sighted in incredibly nicely and with that bdc reticle system and the fact that you're probably going to be shooting this out to 500 yards you're going to set it and forget it at about 50 to 100 yards depending on the caliber you've selected and then you're good to go with that bullet drop compensation the illumination works really well and everything snaps into place it runs off that standard button cell battery and as you can see in the intro it actually gets fairly daytime bright i was kind of shocked so it works out incredibly well when it comes to that now when we're looking at the eye box and eye relief is a really big deal as well as glass clarity and sight picture on an lpvo the eye box and eye relief is how far away that's the eye relief and then up down left and right is going to be the eye box this one is incredibly forgiving and that's perfect for an lpvo and the eye relief is very forgiving as well so you can be close up far away and still make out your sight picture if you're at the one power setting and engaging a target around the car inside your home you want a forgiving eye box so you don't actually black out that scope or get the reticle kind of askewed or unfocused this one does a great job at that so it really is pretty darn perfect when it comes to that respect also the glass clarity is absolutely 
great. And then the one power setting is truly a one power setting. So you can keep both eyes open and use it as a red dot up close, especially with that illumination inside your home for personal defense. Then zooming in has really clear glass at the six power setting. You can make out that BDC reticle system really nicely to take shots at a distance again out to about 600 yards. I did mention I was going to show you guys the reticle system and explain it a little bit more. This is the internal reticle system, and it gives you leader lines, bullet drop compensation, and leader lines for moving targets. And it explains everything incredibly nicely in the pamphlet, depending on which one you got. And this is a nice touch. This is truly a jack-of-all-trades optic that you can use for almost every application on top of an AR-15 or similar platform. I review a lot of high-value and budget optics, and this one is really standing out to me. There's almost no complaints, and that's very rare when you're at this price point. Now, obviously, I reviewed $100 LPVOs and $200 LPVOs, but the fit and finish on this one is better. The glass clarity is better. The illumination is better, and the included accessories are better. Now, I've also reviewed six dollars and $700 optics, and obviously, those are going to be better when it comes to glass clarity and build quality. But something like this, you could truly depend on and use, and it really blew me out of the water, especially at the sub $350 price from Optics Planet after my code 704TAC. You won't be disappointed in that. If you're also interested in this upper assembly or complete rifle, now that it's an SBR from Diamondback Farms, check out my channel for the full review. I also have codes to save yourself some money from these guys if you wanted to buy parts kits and build out a complete setup. Also, if you're interested in the light on this setup, it's the Olight Odin. I also have a code with Olight 704 Tactical for 10% off anything on their website. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, thanks to Callaway Ballistics as well as Optics Planet for sending in some of this stuff over. Have a good one.